Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the menstrual cycle in females. Now why are we suddenly talking about this? So we have covered, what are the things that we have covered? We covered how male sex cells are produced, how female sex cells are produced, how fusion takes place after fertilization, what happens and when is a baby delivered. So we have actually spoken about the entire process of reproduction. But now we have another question in mind. What will happen if the egg remains unfertilized because I was telling you right that the egg once it is released from the ovary it remains alive only for 24 hours. So if it is if it has not met a sperm in those 24 hours then what will happen to that egg? So that is what we will answer in this section. So what happens if the egg is not fertilized because it is not necessary that every time the, uh, ovulation takes place a male and a female has to undergo sexual intercourse. Now, sometimes there might be no intercourse as well. So in that case there are no sperms inside the female's body. So in that case what will happen to the egg because egg is going to get released every 28 days. So let's see. So an egg is released from either of the ovaries every 28 days. So that is something which is which has to happen, which is not under our control. So ovulation will happen periodically every 28 days. Now, one option is if that female undergoes a sexual intercourse within 24 hours or even if she has undergone an intercourse because the sperms live for around 7 to 8 days. So the sperms live for a longer time. So even if she had intercourse before or she ha get, have intercourse immediately after ovulation. So there are chances that the sperm might fertilize the egg. But let us assume that due to some other, other reason the sperm did not fertilize the egg. So what will happen to that egg? So the egg will come out of the ovary into the fallopian tube. So now the egg is waiting to get fertilized by a sperm. So this unfertilized egg will remain alive for 24 hours after ovulation. So it waited for those 24 hours and there was no sperm who came in to fertilize the egg. So now what was going to happen? On, this, and on the other hand, during this time when the egg is waiting for the sperm, during the same time, the uterus is preparing itself to receive the embryo because the uterus is thinking every month that maybe this month some embryo might come. If fertilization takes place, then an embryo will come. So the uterus needs to prepare itself. How it prepares? By thickening the lining. So this is the lining of the uterus. So meanwhile, the uterus keeps on thickening its lining. This lining of the uterus this lining, this layer of the uterus is called endometrium. In fact, uterus has three layers. That is exo perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. So endometrium is the innermost layer. So this innermost layer is highly vascular in nature and it is richly supplied with blood to nourish the embryo. So this endometrial lining will thicken up to prepare itself. But since the egg has not fertilized, so there will be no embryo coming to the uterus. So what will the uterus do with the thick and endometrial lining? It doesn't need it. So what will happen is this uterus whose endometrium has thickened up, now the thickened endometrium will break when there is no fertilization. So as, as I said, so an unfertilized egg will remain alive for 24 hours so it will wait for the sperm. Meanwhile, uterus is preparing to receive the fetus. How? By thickening its endometrial lining. And this endometrium is rich in blood vessels. So it is highly vascular in nature. Now, since no fertilization has taken place, so what will happen? There will be no embryo coming to the uterus. So as a result, the no zygote is formed. So then the endometrium breaks. So this thickened lining will break. Now, as I said, endometrium is rich in blood vessels. So when it breaks, what will happen? 
there will be bleeding because it, it was all made up of blood so that blood will all flow out so where will the blood flow so the blood will flow through the vagina because this is all open right so if this breaks this blood will definitely flow in this direction so what will happen there will be bleeding through the vagina of the female and this is what happens every month to a female and we call that as menstruation what is menstruation it is nothing but bleeding through the vagina which takes place around every 28 days so after because every month your uterus is waiting that maybe this time uh, an, an embryo might come so with that mindset, it is thickening its endometrium lining. But then when there is no fertilization taking place, then what is happening? It breaks its endometrium. So the endometrium is made up of blood. Therefore, there will be bleeding through the vagina. And what happens to the unfertilized egg? The unfertilized egg is also released through that blood. So this is what happens if the egg does not get fertilized and that is why you would have I mean not now but later you will realize that that is why that is how a couple can control their baby planning because they know when when they when the female can conceive and when the female can't conceive because if a female wants to conceive in that case the fertilization has to take place immediately after ovulation. Now, depending upon her menstrual cycle dates, she can also predict the time when she might be ovulating. So that's how that baby planning concept, the entire baby planning thing can be well planned. So this is how menstrual cycle takes place. So now we can talk about the sexual cycle in female which is called menstrual cycle so it is the process of bleeding through vagina due to breakage of endometrium and this process is called menstruation now this doesn't happen in a female from birth that's because ovulation doesn't happen from birth so until the female reaches her puberty, the ovaries and the reproductive organs are not matured. Now only when she reaches her puberty, her ovaries become matured. Therefore ovulation starts. That means egg starts getting released from the ovary. Now as soon as egg starts getting released from the ovary, the uterus also starts preparing itself every month to receive the embryo. So both the processes are interlinked. So as soon as the egg is released, so the uterus will start preparing, it will start thickening its endometrium. Now the uterus will, will wait for around 15 days because normally it takes some 5-6 days for the embryo to come to the uterus. So but still the uterus will wait for some 15 days. But if it doesn't receive the embryo till 15 days, then it will break and that's how menstrual bleeding will take place. It occurs every 28 days because that is how the entire cycle is that ovulation also takes place every 28 days. So whenever ovulation has taken place only after that the embryo will come to the uterus. So therefore both of them are linked. So it is something like this. So let us suppose ovulation has taken place. Ovulation is nothing but the release of egg from ovary into the fallopian tube. Now once ovulation has taken place right now the egg is in the fallopian tube. Now there are two things that can happen. So there is one option that the egg gets fertilized. So the sperm comes and it fertilizes the egg. So if the egg gets fertilized in that case what will happen? Then the zygote will be formed. The zygote will undergo repeated division to form uh, the embryo. And finally, the embryo will descend into the uterus. So the embryo will descend into the uterus in 5 to 6 days. So that is the time it takes to reach the uterus. Correct? Now, there is another option that the egg remains unfertilized. So in this case, what will happen? In this case, anyways, as soon as ovulation happened, the uterus started preparing itself. So in this case, the uterus is waiting, but it did not receive the fertilized egg or the embryo. So the uterus will be waiting for approximately 14 days. 
Now, even up to 14 days, if it doesn't receive the embryo, in that case, what will happen? The endometrial lining will break. That is, there will be bleeding and this bleeding is called menstruation. Now, this bleeding, the ble how much bleeding will happen? It depends upon the thickness of the endometrial lining. The more the thickness, the more bleeding will happen. But under normal situation, the bleeding should happen from 2 to 6 days. It should not be less than 2 days and it should not be more than 6 days also. So that is, the, in, that is in case of normal scenario. So we say that the menstrual cycle lasts for 2 to 6 days and it occurs 14 days post ovulation. So if ovulation has occurred on day 1, so now the uterus will be waiting for 14 days and then in around day 14, your menstrual cycle will start. Otherwise, and if the egg gets fertilized, in that case, somewhere around day 5 or day 6, the uterus will receive the embryo. So obviously now the endometrium lining will not break. So there will be no bleeding. And that is why throughout the pregnancy of 9 months, there is no menstrual bleeding. So menstruation does not take place in a pregnant woman. That's because the endometrium lining is very much required that time to support the baby. So obviously it cannot break. And if the endometrial lining does not break, then there is no bleeding, then there is no menstruation. So that is how and that is why menstruation takes place. Now, this menstrual cycle doesn't take place throughout life. As I said, it starts when a female reaches puberty and it continues till 45 to 55 years of age. Because after that, the ovary becomes dormant. That means the ovary becomes inactive. They no more release eggs. So this phase is called the reproductive phase. So it starts from the start of your puberty and then it continues till you are 45 to 55 years old so till that time so this is the reproductive phase of a woman now when the menstrual cycle stops that is known as menopause so that phase is called menopause that means there is no menstrual cycle taking place now if there is no ovulation because the ovary has become inactive so no egg is released so there is no ovulation now when eggs are not released then obviously the uterus is also not preparing itself because it knows that egg only has not released so how will an embryo be formed so the uh, uterus will also not prepare itself there will be there so there will be no menstruation so no ovulation no menstruation after me no thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again